What's up guys? Um, I just wanted to make a recharge port for dummies video um, mostly because I had so much trouble with mine when I wired it up um, and so I thought maybe this would be beneficial to you guys who are doing your own custom wiring. Um, so I've got three recharge ports here. Um, this first one is an example of what not to buy. Um, depending on what kind of saber you're going with, if you want a saber forge style, this one's not it because as you can see, um, you stick it up through the hole and then the nut um, comes down from the top. So this won't fit a saber forge um, hole. If you're going the custom route, then this might actually be a better way to go um, like for a sink tube saber where there's just not as much meat for the, um, you know, if you wrapped it in Teflon or glued it in place, um, this, this would work great, this style. Um, so just make sure when you're buying them, you know, pay close attention. This is not the style you want for a saber forge style. Um, the next two are pretty much identical and I don't even know if it's gonna show up on camera. Maybe you can kind of see that. This one here, the pin is fat. It's, they're both 5.5 millimeter, um, 2.1 plug uh, ports, but this one has a fatter uh, pin and it doesn't work with um, most of your standard chargers. So, I don't know if there's really any way to tell the difference when you order because the stock photos of these were the same, but it might be worth messaging the seller and asking um, to see a picture of the actual item. Uh, there you go, there's a good angle. You can really see that this one has a smaller pin and that's, that's the one you want to fit like a Saber Forge charger and most, uh, I bought a generic um, on eBay and it's the same thing, it fits this style. So just something to be aware of. Um, I actually had this one installed and I had to pull it out um, and swap it for one of these because nothing would fit. And it's, you know, you all know how much, uh, if you've wired your own sabers, how much of a pain it is to wire those things. So taking the stuff out is no fun. So once you've gotten the right kind of recharge port, um, as you can see, this one would normally have a nut from the bottom. It has the larger, you know, diameter top so when it sets down in the hilt um, you know it's gonna look clean there's not gonna be a nut on the top um, so once you've gotten the right recharge port um, it took me a while to actually find a pin out um, I had mine wired backwards the the negatives uh, this with the grommet or uh, the divot or whatever you want to call it right there is the positive. So that, you can see it's kind of offset, and you can see that this hole's offset. That one's the positive, and so that's wired to this pin. Um, so when you're doing your positive wire from your battery, um, I'm, it depends because I believe uh, some of the boards use a negative to activate, some of them use a positive. Uh, my experience is with the Plector Labs, Nano Biscotti, um, and they switch with a negative, uh, or with the ground, I should say. So this positive is, is wired through here directly to the positive on the battery, the positive on the LED with a resistor on it, um, and the positive on the board. So that's all directly connected to this. Um, a good piece of advice, when I did my wiring, <clears throat> it was a tight squeeze, but I made sure that I used a JST connector for that positive. That way, if I need to do maintenance on my board or anything like that, or for wiring this up as well, I can disconnect it. That way, um, because you can see these are all close together, it would be really easy when you're sticking your wire through this negative right here. If there's this, a loose wire and it accidentally hits that positive, um, you potentially just fried your board if this is hooked directly up to it. Um, 
So if you put a JST connector or a bullet connector or, or something on this positive, you know, you wire them all together and then between that one wire on the board and those, put a disconnect, um, you will very greatly appreciate it down the road if you need to do anything. And like I, I had said earlier, I had to swap these switches out, which was a pain, but it was a lot easier knowing I could disconnect power and I didn't have to worry about frying my board. Um, because you wanna make sure you do a good job using heat shrink and not having stray wires when you do the recharge port. So anyway, positive to this. Um, these are both gonna be negative, but they're not interchangeable. And that was where I screwed up. And if you test it with a kill key, the kill key will work regardless of which one of these you use. So it makes sense if you look through this, you can see that there's that uh, kind of to the left, there's that silver in there. That is, uh, that when you put the, the plug in, that's gonna be on the side of the plug. And if you look, you can see that's to the left of the plug here. And then you can see it's the f further, furthest uh, to the left right here. So I'm gonna kind of spin, oop, uh, hold it the same way. So it's this bottom one right here. That is going to be your negative battery. So for me with my Nano Biscotti, this was directly up to the positive of the battery in the board and the LED. This one down here went directly, the only thing this was wired to was the negative of the battery. Uh, the middle one here, let me see if I can hold this over here. This is what is called your switched, um, your switched port. So when you plug in the kill key, it is disconnecting this. So that's why when you plug in your recharge, it's disconnecting from this and supplying positive to the battery and negative to the battery and recharging it. And same when you put, you know, uh, like a, a kill key in, it's, you know, gonna disconnect from this, which would be um, on a Nano Biscotti, your AV switch, which then would connect to the board. Um, so positive battery, negative battery, switched AV. Um, and obviously if you're not using a Nano Biscotti, those might change as to how you hook it up, but you at least know using one of these, again, I apologize for the fact that this won't focus. Um, there we go. But this middle one is always gonna be your switched. That's always gonna be your negative. Just remember that it's got the, the bar on the side, so that's touching the, the sides of the plug. And then this positive is the center pin, which is gonna be your your positive on the plug. Um, another recommendation, uh, don't glue this in place. You, it's gonna be impossible to use a nut if you're using this. Um, wrap this in Teflon tape maybe three or four times and press it into place. Um, luckily I had done that, I didn't glue it, and so when I pulled it out to switch it, uh, it, it wasn't that impossible of a task. That combined with, combined with good heat shrink on these um, and you know a good soldering job and uh, it's it's nice having this in my opinion versus having to take the battery out I know some people like to be able to swap it out instantly um, I like the recharge port I think it's nice because it's kind of a pain especially with the initiate level apprentice sabers that then you upgrade with like a custom chassis um, there's not a lot of room so uh, anyway, I hope, hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Um, I know sometimes having an actual visual in front of you and uh, someone explaining the pins can help. I had a gentleman who actually redrew my diagram out and kind of explained it to me. Uh, we were trying to solve the problem of why when I plugged in my charger, did my saber still turn on? Um, and it was because I had these two switched. Um, and you can fry your board doing that. So I was lucky that nothing bad happened. Um, 
but just remember negative battery is this far one and you can look and see right through it and it lines up with what's inside there so as long as you do that um, you should be good to go as long as there's no wires touching and you've done a good job heat shrinking it and there's no bad contacts and uh, yeah hopefully this helps you guys out if not if you have any questions uh, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer it and uh, help you guys out and I try and keep making videos um, as I learn things as far as do-it-yourself sabering um, I'm gonna try and share some of my knowledge with you guys um, so that you don't make the same mistakes that I do because I was pretty stressed out that I just spent all this money and time waiting for parts, getting my nano biscotti installed, and I couldn't recharge it. So hopefully that saves you guys some headache. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like this. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.